Hey guys, it's Alpha and today I'm going to be showing you how to fully, from start to finish, create a 5M server in 2020. It's currently April in 2020, so if this becomes outdated at any point, I'm sorry. I will probably make a new one, but if, if not, then I'm sorry. You can check the official documentation for 5M servers in the description. Um, I will be referencing that during this uh, on multiple occasions, so be sure to check it out if you have any further questions. So first of all, you're going to want to go to your desired directory of where you're going to want to set up your server. Uh, there's two main uh, choices for this normally, is either your desktop or just in your C drive area just here where you've got all your program files and users and all that. So I'm going to do it here in my C drive. I'm going to create a new folder and you're going to want to call this anything along the lines of server or anything like that. I'm going to call mine test server because it's a test server um, and inside of here it's obviously going to be empty but what you're going to, want to do is go to the first link in the description which will take you to this web page and this is the server artifacts page and you see the big blue button that will get you the latest recommended server artifact so if you press that it will start a download which is the server.zip file once that's downloaded, just drag that into your test server file, folder, sorry. And then you're going to want to also download the next uh, package, which is from the next link in the description. This is the CFX server data repo. So it will be a GitHub. If you press the green button and then press download zip, it will begin the download. It's a very quick download these. And then you will also want to drag that into the test server folder. What you want to do next is extract the server.zip using either winrar or 7-zip doesn't matter uh, and then if you've got a number like i do just uh, get rid of that and make sure it's just called server and then you want to extract the cfx server data uh, it will say dash master that's just because it's from github what you can do is just rename that and get rid of the dash master so it's just cfx cfx dash server dash data what you want to do with this cfx server data is drag it inside the server folder so it's like this. You'll have a lot of different files in here. Just ignore these. You'll never ever need to touch these. So after that, you can delete these two zip files. They are no longer needed. Next up, you're going to want to go inside this server folder and inside the CFX server data. Oh, I see. Okay. So what you want to do is drag these out of that because for some reason, in github folders you'll have two of the same named folder so this data master inside of the or so basically inside of this one which will be called master there'll be another master one just get what's in that and drag it into the first folder and get rid of this secondary folder you don't need it and then in here you're going to make a new text document and you're going to want to call it server.cfg as you can see, I've just changed the file extension from a .txt to a .cfg. If you don't know how to do that, on your file explorer, go to view at the top. And then this tick box just here, file name extensions. That, as you can see, goes from server to .server.cfg. That will allow you to change the file name extensions. It's very useful. I recommend keeping it on at all times. Once you've done that, you want to open this with a text editor. I recommend Visual Studio Code. It's very useful. I use it for all my coding and you probably will too. Um, once you've got that, go to the third link in the description, which is the server.cfg template. It will take you to the 5M documentation. If you just scroll down to just here, number five, making a server.cfg, click this and this is a server.cfg folder. Oh, file, sorry. Uh, just copy all of that inside the indentation and copy it into your server.cfg. Once you've got this, just save it and then close that for now. We don't need to do that yet. First of all, we're going to need to go to the fourth link in the description, which is the Keymaster page. What you want to do here is just press sign in. Of course, there's an anti anti uh, bot. Once you are in, you will need to press register a server. And then on the label, you can just call this whichever you, whatever you want. So test server, home server, whatever you want to call it. 
So once you've done the label, you'll need to get your IP address. This is your home IP address of your computer that you'll be hosting it on. If you don't know how to get this, just search what's my IP address on Google and you should be able to find it. On yeah, By the way, you'll need a uh, server IPv4, not IPv6. On server type, uh, it's going to be home hosted because obviously it's not a server provider. It's a home hosted server from your home. Uh, do the capture and generate one. Once you've generated it, you'll be on this page and you'll see the label, IP and key. The key is with what the thing that you will need. So copy the key and go back to your aforementioned server.cfg in your text editor. If you go to the bottom, you'll see SV underscore license key. And in change me is obviously what you want to change. So I recommend put it in, putting it in speech marks. I don't know if you need to do this, but I recommend it. Um, and then just paste your key from earlier. Once you've done that, you can just go through all of these things that you need to change. So tags, obviously, if you've got a role play server, you can put role play. If you've got a car server, put cars and so on. The host name, this is just the name of your server. So I'm going to put test server. This will be whatever you want. Obviously, if you've got a role play server, put the role play community's name and so on. Here you've got the max clients. Um, the maximum you can have is 32 unless you're using one sync, um, but you probably won't be at this point. So I just recommend putting 32. Right here, this is how you change the server icon, which will show up when you're finding the server on 5M. So the way you change it is just you just uncomment that. And then obviously here you can see it's called mylogo.png. If you have a uh, PNG image of your logo and it's not called my logo, call it. Let's say you've got one called serverlogo.png. Obviously, you'll change it to that. And where you want that is in here with your server.cfg in the CFX server data folder. I'm just going to leave that. Oh, hello. I'm just going to leave that commented because I'm not going to be changing the logo for now. Um, now, once you've done that, you can you can close the server.cfg. You don't need it anymore. Now, what you need to do is go back into this folder, the server folder, and then right click, go to new and text document. And once again, press control A to select all of it, including the .txt and type starter.bat. This is a .batch file. Um, this will execute uh, whenever you run it and it will start the server. So what you want to do is edit it um for some reason it uses notepad for this i don't know why and we'll just have to stick with it and then what you want to do is you can either type this out by pausing the video or go to my uh document doc documentation on how to uh, make a server which will be in the description and so you'll need to leave the cd slash d but change the directory to whatever your directory is so mine is test server, server, CFX server data, and so on. So how you will get this is for the first one, you'll need to go into your CFX server data and at the, at the top, just click and that is what you'll need to copy. And you'll put that there. For the second one is slightly different. You'll need to go back out of that just to here and then copy that and that will replace this. But do not get rid of this after it, the fx server.exe plus exec server.cfg. This is going to run the fx server.exe, which is in here, as you can see just here. And then also execute the server.cfg, which is inside your server data folder just here. So once you've got that to the correct directories, you can just save that and close it. And then you can just double click it to run it and it should start up uh you will need to allow access this is trusted don't worry about it it's not gonna you know f harm your pc or anything like that um here as you can see in the console you should see that it's starting resources if you're getting any errors such as res uh, no resources found or failed to start resources uh it will be an error in your starter.bat so, oh, I don't want to print it. <laughs> uh, you probably missed the CD at the start of your 
start.bat. And if no resources get started and you cannot connect to the server, you would have missed the exec just here. If you get no license key specified, it will be either one of these and it's it's going to be an error inside your starter.bat. So once you've done this, you can just minimize that. Don't close it because that will stop the server. Um, but your server is ready to be joined. So you can start up 5M and I'll get back to you when it's on. Okay, once you're on 5M, I recommend going to your settings and turning on dev, dev mode because this will allow you at the top, as you can see, to have local host. This means you can just click that and it will instantly connect you to your server. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know how to figure this out somehow or it's not working, you can go to direct connect and type localhost and that will come up with your server. Or if localhost for some weird reason doesn't work, type 127.0.0.1. This is the same as localhost, I don't know why but it is. Um, here your server will come up so as we did earlier in the server.cfg we called it test server and that's come up we've got 32 slots and the default map 5m map hipster is there so we can uh, press connect and it will connect us to the server as you can see it's a very unattractive loading screen uh, sometimes you even get this which is just a little game that you can mess around in whilst, whilst you're loading in um, but this can be changed and there are many tutorials on the 5M forums on how to do this. So you can just search one up and find one. But once you've loaded in, you will spawn in a random location as one of the hipsters or skater peds, as you can see. Um, it won't be, you know, great like all the other roleplay and drift and servers and all that. That you've seen before that's because this has got no resources so this is just a bare bones mess about server which you can add to by adding resources in i will be doing a tutorial on how to add resources to your server soon uh, so stay posted for that be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications because that will be coming very soon but yeah i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any issues comment down below and i will be sure to help you out um, also, be sure to join the Discord, which is linked in the description, because I will be able to respond much quicker on the Discord, because I'm always active on that. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.